Hi everyone, it's Kathy McElfresh, aka Scrappy Kathy, and I'm doing today Challenge Accepted combined with uh, 30 Days of Sketches from um, Christie's Beautiful Life, and this is her sixth run of uh, 30 Days of Sketches. And I've never participated before. So I'm going to be doing all 30 sketches. I've got them all printed out. I don't, let me, let me show you <laughs> what I've got here. I've got all of them. <laughs> so we're, um, I'm doing load this month. So every day my load layout, if I can, if I haven't done something else like for challenge accepted or or another challenge, um, it will be it will be using one of Christie's sketches. So today I hope to do uh, a really quick, easy layout. This one is awesome. There are alternating longer and shorter strips that are kind of uh, that kind of move across the page. There's a round photo, one cluster there, and a little small cluster down here, and a title. There's also this banner, but I'm leaving that out. So I'm working with a sheet of white cardstock and the Coco Vanilla Daydream 6x8 pad and a few Jen Hadfield, um, let's see what collection it is, Jen Hadfield The Avenue uh, embellishments that I may or may not use. And the papers and the embellishments and the hearts and these, those are all from a, the latest, uh, the September Mind the Scrap Kit. And these are from a previous Mind the Scrap Kit. They're Vicky Booten Alphas. And I've got these Nouveau Crystal Drops. They're, the, they're just the perfect kind of grayish navy to go with what's in the collection there. And I have, I have fussy cut a butterfly in that color. And I'm also matting my photo on that color. I've cut the photo round and then I cut a bigger circle um, in that. And that's maybe the only thing I'm gonna put on foam today. I think there's enough texture with all of these, um, all of these strips going across the page. Uh-oh, that's a sign that I might be running out of tape, but we'll we'll deal with that because I have all those strips to tape on there. That might be a, a problem. Okay, so that's my photo. We're not gonna worry about that till later. Let me show you what I did to get the long strips I took these two patterns and cut three quarter inch strips the eight inch way. And then I cut three quarter inch strips the six inch way on these two pattern papers. So that should give me a nice variety. And I'm just gonna kinda put them on. I'm gonna start with the wood grain and I'm gonna start with it just above where I want that. Um, this lower cluster to go. And I'm gonna let them curl up. I'm gonna put this in the, the tape in the middle and we'll kind of see how that, how that works out. Um, I think it'll just add a little more kind of movement and interest. So I'm gonna, and I'm not, I don't know how many of these strips I really should have cut. So I may end up having to cut some more. And I'm just gonna alternate them. I'm not gonna get fancy with the design. This one kinda shoots up from there. And now I'm gonna use this. And it goes kinda right there. I love how it's looking already. Now I could have inked the edges. I could have popped them up on foam to get some uh, dimension, or I could have done both, and that would have really um, kind of popped them up. But I, I'm not feeling that today. That's not um, what I want to do. I'm just kind of eyeballing some even uh, spacing there. I cut three 
three quarter inch strips from each pattern. And I'm just gonna alternate them that way. I think that's a nice, um, I just kind of came up with that arrangement <clears throat> of colors and it, it, I think it's working out nice. Let me go down a little farther with this one. And I have no idea, I did not do any precise measurements to see um, how high or how low any of these were going to go. And I'm just varying them kind of as the mood hits me. So now I'm ready for another one of these. I know the photo's gonna go right in here, so I kinda want this at least below the photo. So we'll do this. I may need one more strip of one of the colors, but we'll see, because I don't wanna leave a, a bigger gap on this side than on the other. Okay, pink. Here. It's going to be really close. Um, I can't fit a whole um, strip. So I'll cut it at a half inch and then butt it right up to the edge of the paper. Maybe like that. That'll work. It works for me. And I don't have to butt it up. I'll just use the standard uh, spacing that I have been using, and that doesn't look too, too bad there. Okay, a uh, little measuring would have fixed that, and if I cared, um, I might have done that, uh, but I thought something like that might happen, which is why I kept those handy, and I I just was gonna do something that I thought looked good at the moment. Let's see, there on theirs, this is the top thing on the white. So I'm gonna go with that and that leaves room for the title down there. Now, <clears throat> I have some wood veneers that I want to use as, um, there's, you know, kind of some greenery coming up. There's some, some florals and such. And this is going to have a bit of uh, dimension because I'm going to slide it in between these layers. And where it, it's over the white, it'll have a lot of dimension. So that will give the photo uh, a lot of prominence. Okay, there's, I'm just going to pour these things out and then pick from them. I want a, I want florals. These florals are just the perfect color for the filter I used on that photo. So I'm really happy with that. And there's a, a rainbow in there that I, fussy cut and I want to use kind of back here. Okay, there we go. And I've got this which doesn't, it's not, um, I thought maybe that might be good there but I don't want the sentiment on it. I'm just gonna cut it off. 
and that way it can lie um, butted down to there. I may put it on a little bit of foam. And I know I've kind of left that. What I'm doing is letting that glue dry. So there is some small bit of method to my madness. Okay, that's up. And so now I can do, there's a really small bit of that um, wood veneer greenery. So I'll get some glue on it. And I may use... I cut out a sentiment here, this, my happy place is with you, so it kind of looks like that might be cute for her to be saying uh, about being with Reese. This photo was taken after she had gotten back from the gym before getting ready to go to school. It was her first day uh, in person at school this year. And because she only did one day at school last year, because it was during chemo, um, it was a little scary for her to be you know, going to middle school. It was in essence kind of her first day at middle school. So I'm gonna let the glue dry on that as well. I'm going to come back over here to this rainbow and maybe try to insert it down in there. That works for me. I could actually just leave that as it is. That's almost enough embellishment with all the pattern and color that you're getting from this background. But I do at least want the butterflies. I've got a blue one, a yellow one, and I think there's a pink one in here somewhere, yes. And then I have more flowers and this gold bit that says high. I'm not going to leave the high on there. I will just kind of use it as a just a little touch of, of gold shininess. <laughs> I'm sure that's a word. It's a, it's a scrappy word, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. I might put this one kind of right there. So it almost looks like a, a sun there. I should have done the same thing there. Uh, let's see. I've got this. Let me tack that down. This thinner strip is wanting to move around a little bit more than I want it to. So I like this flower, but maybe this one is smaller and would work better. Let's fussy cut around that. And let me, nah, that, that doesn't work, but maybe this will. It's kind of too big. Let me cut some of it off. Yeah, that, that works. And I might want to do the title next. Um, let me see if I can use any other florals. I love this one and that might work right there, maybe overlapping the photo or here overlapping the photo where there's nothing too interesting going on right there. So let me put the glue there on the uninteresting part to make sure I put it in the right place. 
and I'll let the, I'll turn it so that the leaf extends out over that frame. Okay, I've got this other one could go down underneath as a flat, and then that kind of gives me my left border for the title. And let me see if I can squeeze in either of these. This one has the cute greenery there and can kind of slide under there. Okay, that works. I'm probably going to put most of the Jen Hadfield stuff back um, because I like the grayed out greens here with these particular papers. These greens are a little brighter. So I'll put those over there. I still have this fussy cut floral. Don't, it's too big to use there. And I suppose it might work if I slid it under there. But I've, yeah, I've got, I can lift that up. That works. Okay, that just gives me another layer of florals. And it, it gives me layers uh, or florals on three different layers of the composition. So that's something it's uh, it just adds some dimension and interest and it's all around the photo so it it draws attention to that so now i'm going to go with let's let's see let's do the the title it's going to say and i'm just uh, it's a uh, chipboard so i know that i'll have to um, go back and glue it but I'm going to just kind of tack it on there. B. For. I love these alphas. And I got them in two different kits, so I've had two sets. And as you can see, I've kind of played with watercolor on them. And I started to do that because there's some distress oxides that would be the perfect colors. Uh, here, though. But I decided I like the white. I think I'm, I'm happy with the white. So now that I've got that, maybe I can put this here. I'm not thrilled with that. I'm, I'm gonna leave it off and I'll, I'll let the glue dry and let it go on a totally different page. So I'm happy keeping with the, um, the cocoa vanilla. I'm gonna do the blue butterfly down here. And I'll kind of do it and it glue it down there. That works for me there. And the pink and on the um, for the journaling, I'm going to list, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to type it up in strips and run it crossways he, under here. Um, I'll list the things that she does. She does a um, uh, high intensity weight workout that's kind of alternating uh, weights with um, high intensity aerobics. And then she does, uh, then she runs and 
put it here. And then she, you know, feeds the dog, takes the dog out for a walk. Um, you know, all these things. So this title will get straightened out. I think I'm done. I love it. Um, it's, I'm not going to really clutter it up with a whole lot of tiny embellishments, but I will put, um, uh, let's see, do I want the, the pink, the pink hearts are about the closest to the cocoa vanilla colors, so I could put one, you know, I'm not going to do hearts. I will not do those hearts. I'm just going to go, my original thought for a uh, small embellishment was the, um, the Nouveau Drops, and this was maybe one of the first colors of Nouveau Drops that I bought, and I just love them. So, where would I want them? I'm going to go over here on this wood grain, and I'll do a group of three. Place that. I'll come here. And let me go up here. All right, I'm done. So that was a great um, little challenge to do. I, the little house is kind of on its own. And to be honest, if I can find another little Jen Hadfield house, I may try to work it in up here by this rainbow. But the rainbow, the florals, the wood, the gold, and the Nouveau Drops and the butterfly are all repeated elements. So. I think I passed the Christina test for one thing, and um, it's I I like that there's just the one big cluster and then this little tiny one. I think that that works out great. Love this design. Thank you, Christy, for picking such amazing sketches, and be sure to check out uh, Shannon's channel, which will be in my video description box because I'm sure she's done a completely different uh, take on this. And my guess is that there may or may not be a bulldog involved in her layout. It's just a, just a guess, because I think she might have a new one. And so and she, I'm sure she'd love to tell you all about it. So thanks for watching. See you next week for Challenge Accepted. And the rest of the week for a few other things I've got going on. Bye.